Hi, my name's Rob Fitzhugh, and by the end of this video, we're going to know how to turn an old blog or ebook into a video that we can share on LinkedIn or social media. Let's roll. I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of old content that is sitting there gathering dust on some of my websites. So I was saying to myself, how do I repurpose this? How do I get it out on social media in a way that suits a format that I'm comfortable with, i.e. video. There's a big drive for video. People are pushing for video the whole time. So what if there was a way I could take my old content and quickly turn it into a video to make it more accessible and more palatable for people? My focus is on LinkedIn. I'm really trying to build uh, my LinkedIn profile out. And I thought I might have some useful content for people on LinkedIn that I could share. Will they read it? No. Will they watch it? Possibly yes. So I've tracked down a bunch of different software and I've been doing a lot of bit of testing, see if I can figure out what works best. And I've come across a site that is free called Lumen5. And I thought you guys could join me on my journey as I put together a video blog um, that I can put out in the world and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start with a new video here, okay? So if I click on new video, okay, right? It's gonna ask me to pick a template, okay? So I'm gonna pick this template here, okay? So down the bottom, right? Depending on where you're putting this, my goal is to put this on LinkedIn specifically, okay? So it's 16 by nine, one by one, nine by 16 or nine by 16 story. Now it's really important to remember if you see here, if you publish it as an Instagram story, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take each part of this and it's going to break it into individual clips, which will require you to post them separately. So if that's not the direction you wanna go, then I would stick with 16 by nine or one by one, and then you can edit or amend it accordingly. Okay, so 16 by nine, we'll say use this template. Okay, give it a second. They throw in a little fact for you. Okay, so straight away, you're greeted with a lot of different options here, a lot of stuff going on. What it's giving you here is a walkthrough on how to put together uh, your vlog. Okay, down here, you have something that says use AI to generate summary. Okay, so if you were in a hurry, and you were wanted to work on this really, really quickly. What we could do is I could take the URL from this blog, blog, sorry, and, and I could pop it in here and press import. Okay. Hold a couple of seconds. Do, 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 do. Ah, here we go. So the top 10 tips for recording a self interview. Okay. So that what it's done is it's taken my blog, I'm gonna keep messing up blog and vlog here, I apologize. It's taken my blog and it's um, spat it all out from here. So down the bottom, as I said, it says use generate, use AI to generate a summary, okay? Or use every sentence in the story, okay? So what I want to do is I want to let Lumen essentially estimate what I want my vlog to be about. So if I say convert to video, okay? Okay, so now we are up and running. Let me just move me out of the way here so you guys can see. Okay, so what it's done here, right, is it's taken the images from my blog and it's dumped them in randomly. Uh, and it's also taken specific sentences. I mean, I don't know what a cow has to do composure, but we'll come back to that. It has also taken specific sentences and it's thrown them in um, and it, I mean, if you were happy enough with that, I mean, it ends with to sum up, so maybe not. But if you were happy enough with that, you could just um, preview it. Okay, and we'll come back to the music in a moment. If you're happy with that, you can just publish and away you go. Me personally, I am not happy with this uh, because it really doesn't make a lick of sense. So it's my time to try and clean it up. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of very, very interesting, right? So you saw how long that took to take um, uh, to put that together, not very long. What you have on the side of each slide here are individual options, okay? I can preview that slide, okay? All right, I've also got three seconds minus plus, okay? So I can decide how long I want that to be on the screen. So if you've packed a little bit more information into it than normal, you should be able to extend it out so it's on the screen longer for people to read. If you're not happy with the design, you can hit swap design. We can go in and we can choose a different look for it, okay? Now shuffle colors, we're able to shuffle colors on the slide, but as I said, we're not able to add our own branding colors um, because uh, with, this is not the paid version. Of, we can lower the background music here. That's some of the options we have. Okay, so um, I'm gonna change this design back um, to one I prefer, okay, which is this one here. Okay, so I'm not really mad on this image. It's got nothing really to do with cameras or nothing to do with phones or nothing to do with talking to cameras. So this is where we go up to our elements on the side. 
Okay, so you can click on media here. Now, what's great about this is it gives you a whole host of different things that you can use for free. So you see the way it has free here? And um, I just clicked on that and I added that in, okay? Or you can drag it across. Say I wanted to, you know, crop this over a little bit. Okay, just tidy it up. I can add in a bit of an animation if I want. I can pan up. So when I preview that, a little bit of a pan makes it a little bit more interesting. I might actually change that to a uh, zoom out. Okay, we'll go this way. So preview that. Ah, a bit shaky. Uh, okay, then you can go in, you can change the brightness. Okay, so we'll leave it like that for a moment. As I said, if we wanted to add in anything, if I put in video, um, again, there's lots of free elements. Now it is something to remember when you're doing this. Are you doing it for commercial or editorial purposes? And what I mean by that is, is if you are creating something um, to sell a product, then using some of these elements may not be allowed. But if you're doing it like I'm doing it right now as an educational tool or you know something like that, then it's okay, you're using this on social media, you're not trying to sell a specific brand or anything like that, you're merely just offering helpful information, then it's editorial and you'll be prompted at the end to make a decision on, on, on which one of those are and to rethink some of your choices if not. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna say, you know what, I wanna change this presented by Robert you okay? If you wanted, we'll move down, say you wanted something a bit more humorous, okay? Um, you could say talking on phone as a GIF. Okay, you know what? Um, there we go, choose a quiet look. I can just drag this in here. Drop me all the way down to the bottom. I can drag that in there. So now when I preview it, you can see me talking on the background. The one thing I will say is because this is a free version of it, you are not going to be able to export it at 1080p. So you're only gonna be able to export at max 720p. So just be mindful of that in the choice of images that you use. Some of these GIFs are of a much lower quality. And as you can imagine, that quality is going to be even decreased even further when you export this and then upload it onto social media. So just be mindful of the choices that you make in that capacity. As I said, you're free to upload your own media here. And that's an example of recent things that might've been used. So again, there's a whole range of different things that you can use in order to make your video more engaging. What I might say here is if I go back to the story elements here, okay, so the first thing I would have had is location. Uh, so it's like choose a quiet location and uh, that's not right. Like, so that doesn't make sense. So I wanna go back up here and I wanna say, um, you know, I might do this, choose a quiet location. And then down here you have it here, but I'm gonna change this a little bit. So I'm gonna go to media again and I'm gonna say person talking on phone. See if I can find something with a, a nice, clean, quiet wall, something where someone looks happy at least. Uh, here we go. So I'll just take this, right? And this is a free element as well. So I'm just gonna add this in here. Okay. So I might then go back to my story and I might say, you know, a white or plain colored wall to keep it professional and uncluttered. This, I don't know what there's two S's, okay? Uh, on clutter. It's spelled it correctly, but in the interest of time, we'll move on. Okay. So just over here on the side, you'll see you've got leave a comment. Uh, you can duplicate scenes. You can delete all that sort of stuff. You can add a sub scene, which is something that comes in underneath. Uh, we'll move on over here on the left hand side. You've got icons. Now icons are only available if you've paid for it and they're premium. Um, as I said, music will touch on shortly. These are free to use uh, musical pieces that you can add into your piece to give it a little bit more excitement style. Again, you've got current colors, you've got daylight, ocean, but as I said, you are not in a position to uh, add in your own colors unless you pay for it. So uh, again, you've come down to format, which again is, is like we talked about before. It's, it's where you're putting it and where you want this to go. Video resolution, as you can see here, is 720p HD, but if I wanna go 1080p, I'm going to have to pay, okay? So I'm gonna come back here. I'm just gonna do one or two more slides. I'll just say lighting, okay? Um, so we might say, yeah, might say what? And we might say, you know, person standing in front of window. 
uh, okay we might say put this in here like this okay for lighting so we'll preview that okay cool all right then we might go down and say you know what, i'll do one more and um, we'll skip over that and i'll say um we'll go to something uh, we might say And we might say, yeah, ba, 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 ba. okay, we'll say somebody talking to the camera, someone talking to the camera. Okay, so I'll just drag this in here. Okay, perfect. And then what you might want to do is, see that Shutterstock, okay? So that as a marketplace. So what happens is when I get to the end, I'll show you, I'll leave that in and I'll show you what happens when you leave in those things, okay? So you might, you can move these things around as well. So if you move this up like this. So you can move them around like this. If you want, you can use positioning. I'm going to just put this here. And you see down here, it says allow new text. So you can drop a box underneath and say, um, uh, people need to make eye contact. Okay, so you can see already, if I preview this, okay, it's gonna have the Shutterstock logo thing over it and that's gonna be an issue, okay? So say we've gone through it and we're happy with it. We, we, we like where we're going. As you can see at the top right-hand side here, it says 52 seconds, okay? So that gives you the, an idea of the full length of what this is going to play like, okay? And um, so we leave the rest as is, okay? So say you wanna record your own voiceover over this, you might wanna say record your own voiceover, allow, okay? And then you can hit record here and it will speak over the timeline so you can add in your own narration if that sees fit, okay? But for the most part, we're gonna leave that as is, all right? I'm gonna go back down to music for a moment and I'm gonna pick a different song. Some of this music isn't great. Um, if anyone has a artlist.io account or anything like that, you can add in your own music by just uploading it. Well, I'll try this. So I've selected this. So if I go back to preview now, perfect. And if I'm pretty happy with that and how that looks and how that feels and the, the fact that uncluttered is spelled incorrectly will haunt me forever. The, uh, what I'll do is I, yeah, so, so if you're happy with your video, you're happy with the way it looks, you're happy with how it's gone, you can simply cancel out of that, okay? And go to publish. All right, so here's where we get our marketplace thing. So uh, please upgrade your account. Because I, I've used something that says Shutterstock on it and it's a premium marketplace thing, I'm basically not allowed to do that. So it's gonna prompt me to pay for it. Go back and look at the options again. So just go back to wherever it's flagged it. I'm gonna go back into media. I'm gonna say someone talking to camera and I'm just gonna replace it with something that's free, okay? So this is free. Um, now we'll go with this one. We'll go with this one, okay? So this is free, okay? So now when I go to publish, give it a second. Yeah, so your music is all there. Uh, this is a preview as it renders away. It's downloading, so you can't download it yet. Here, you're in a position to be able to rotate and change the um, ratio if you want. You can go from 960 to 1 So it's the same thing it gave you in the at the beginning. Um, also, what you can do is you can, um, I'll tell you what. Also, what you can do is you can, tra you can download a transcript uh, if you want. You can share it as a link. Transcript will allow you to turn the content of this into another blog if you wanted to, or you could start a video and then change the video into a blog so you can go backwards. You don't have to turn a blog into a video. Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, you just wait for this to download. Um, I'm just gonna go back in and pause that for a second. So you just wait for this to download. Uh, and once this downloading is done, one thing I'll point out as well is, it says, uh, you see here, it says any paid plan will remove the Lumen 5 credit scene at the end of your video. Because this is a free version, if I go to the end of the video here, you see the way it has that at the very end? So it has the Lumen 5 logo coming up at the end. Um, I'm just gonna go back a second.
So just at the very end of this video, okay, it says show outro. So this is something you can do here. It's something that I have done already, which is basically um, I can add in logo. So if I say select media and I say recent, I'll add in a logo there, okay? Um, so there's a logo. Follow us on social media and you can add in your various social media handles here. You can just type them in and change them if you want. Uh, you can also change the font to bold or regular as we go. Uh, and then what happens is when I preview this, now at the very end, follow us on social media pops up and that'll give you a little bit of a way to push people towards your own stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go back to publish. Really, it's that's it. It's just, it, I mean, there's a little bit of tinkering to it, but I find it to be a pretty robust tool. And of the ones I've used, I find this to be the easiest and most intuitive, particularly for people who mightn't be comfortable with editing. It drag and drop feature is very reminiscent of say Canva. So being able to do all that very simply at the touch of a button and to really polish it up. I mean, I rushed through it here, but you can really polish it up and have a look good. Um, and I, I, I feel that, you know, if you're looking for a way to repurpose old content, make it useful again on a different format to get in front of different eyes on different accounts. I think this is really a way to go. So if you're sitting on a mountain of old blogs and um, flip them into videos, uh, spend a couple of hours making them all up and then you've got content to put out on social media to beat the band and really it's about taking old work and making it fresh again. So thanks so much.